Hey guys, Spider Games here. In this video, I'm going to show you 20 power armor locations in Fallout 76, so stick around. Here's the map that I've been working on, and it shows over 40 power armor locations confirmed, by the way. But anyways, here's number 22, and it's at Black Bear Lodge. You don't have to fight your way to this or anything. Um, there are enemies here, however, the power armor is in the shed and not in the lodge itself, so... You could sneak up and take it. You could be in and out of here like a demon's whisper. Number 23 is south a little bit at Clarksburg. And uh, this one is a little more difficult. You do have to fight a couple super mutants. Um, but the power armor itself is going to be in the corner of the loot room. The main loot room. Anyways. And uh, yeah, you're going to have to fight this uh, boss super mutant. But uh, look at this guy. He came running up like a dude having to take a shit at the fair. Trying to find a bathroom in a fucking frantic panic of holy shit I'm gonna shit my pants because there's a fucking line at these goddamn fair anyways um yeah you just uh, go up these stairs uh this is the most straightforward way to get to it but uh why is that guy just standing there he, he watched me doing whatever the fuck I was doing anyways we're going to eastern regional penitentiary for number 24 and uh this one is in the middle of this courtyard in a shed but, uh, yeah, there's gonna be super mutant dicks all over the walls shooting down at you. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, um, you don't really have to kill them. They're far enough away, they're not gonna come running up and all that stuff. You could just run in here. And if the power armor's there, it's gonna be in this middle power armor station. You can grab it and leave. Very simple. Number 25 is gonna be at Grafton Dam. And, uh, this one, again, you're gonna have to fight your way through some super mutants. What's with the super mutants today? I don't know. It's like I chose all the places that have super mutants. And I'm just going to show them in a row. Anyways, yeah. It's going to be in this uh, shed or garage, whatever the hell you call it. And uh, it's going to be on this power armor station. Next is number 26 and number 27. They're very close together. But the first one is at Sons of Dane Compound. And it's in this house in the basement behind a level 3 locked door. You can go upstairs and find a computer or a, whatever, a monitor, whatever the hell they call them in this game. But uh, you can uh, hack that. I think it's level 2 hacking. But uh, the other one is across the street at the ammo dump. And it's being protected by a couple um, turrets. So uh, they're very easy to kill, though. Number 28 is at Thunder Mountain Power Plant. And this one is actually very easy to get to. Um, don't let the big-ass building intimidate you we're not going to be running through a maze of crap we're just going to go in this back door here and we're not going to go 50 feet from the door maybe it's actually 50 feet but uh yeah not far at all bam there it is very easy to get to like i said um that's how we do it in this series but anyways number 29 is at mama dulce's food processing now this one is like a secret it's in a secret uh I don't know what you call it. A base, secret base. But anyways, uh, you need a key card to get in here. And you find the key card in the main building itself. And it's going to be on the middle uh, floor um, in an office on a desk. So you should find it very easy. But anyways, once you get in here, you're going to take this path like I'm doing. Um, this might be one of the harder ones to get to just because. But you got to hack this computer right here. And uh, I think it's a level 1, maybe level 2 hack. No big deal, but once you got it, you just uh, open this door, and uh, there it is, in this little closet type thing. Number 30 is at another power plant, uh, Manan Mananga, Mananga, Mananga power plant, it's at Mananga power plant. Anyways, go in the back door, again, very easy, um, oh yeah, by the way, this power armor didn't show up, or it didn't spawn in rather. For me the first time so all i had to do was turn around walk out the door and then walk right back in but anyways you're gonna have to kill a few super mutants it's a little hard uh, the main boss is in this area but there it is i don't know if it comes or spawns in rather as uh, raider power armor every time or not but anyways moving on to number 31 it's that black water mine you're gonna have to deal with a couple mole miner dicks but uh they're no problem really they're pretty easy actually at this point you just gotta watch out for the rocket launchers uh, anyways, it's going to be in this boathouse looking thing. It's actually a shed, whatever. But uh, here it is. 
Yeah, I'm not sure if it uh, spawns as Raider Armor every time. It might spawn as something else. But anyways, moving on. Number 32, we're going west to Lewis and Sons Farming Supply. This one never spawns in for me. It did this one time just to confirm that this is a spawn location. But uh, there's a couple Scorched, very low level, very easy to deal with, no problem. Now this one, this is going to be the hardest one. I've got a whole video on this. This is how to get the EXO Power Armor. Um, you don't, you have to craft it. You have to find the uh, plans to craft it and all that good stuff. But it's a long ass quest. It has to do with the Enclave. In the top right of your screen right now, there's a card that will take you to that video if you want to see that. But uh, yeah, it's a bitch. It, it takes a little while, but uh, worth it in the end. Number 34 is at Solomon's Pond. This one's very easy to get to. They're all easy to get to, man. But uh, yeah, you're going to find it right here and uh, bam. That's it. The Rusty Pick is next and it's number 35. This one's inside the building. Um, I heard that this one's going to be Raider Power Armor every time. But uh, once you're in here, just take the path I'm taking right here. Very easy. Uh, nothing to it. It's going to be behind this uh, gate. I believe it's lock picked. You have to lock pick like a level 1 or something. I don't know. But anyways, next, Abandoned Mineshaft. Here, it's going to be inside this uh, big-ass building. Um, it's more like a warehouse. But anyways, it's going to be right here. No power armor stand. It's just going to be standing there. But uh, yeah, very easy to get to. Again, they're all easy. Number 37 is at Johnson's Acre. This one is going to be Raider Power Armor again. And uh, you're going to climb up this rock. There's going to be a couple of enemies that spawn there by the uh, main cabin. But... Uh, as you're climbing up here, there's going to be a couple rat roaches. That's a guarantee. And, uh, yeah. Here we are. Very easy to get to. I like the way the Raider Power Armor looks. I'm trying to collect the set just to, to look at it. Too bad it's trash. But anyways, moving on to number 38. It's that lucky hole mine. Can't believe that we never found this before. Anyways... We're just going to go inside the mine. There's a few enemies out here, but uh, you can run past them. Once you come in here, you're going to turn left and you're going to find this bar door. You won't be able to go through it, but if you go up these stairs here, and if you look in this corner, you can drop down very easily. And uh, there it is. You'll find the power armor in this corner if it spawns in. Can't believe we never found that. Number 39 is that Watoga Transit Hub. I turn all the robots good. They're my homies now but this is gonna be behind a level three lock door so uh, once you get that lock pick though uh, you're gonna find the armor next to one of those generators that gives you a fusion core now uh, these two are a part of the same building anyways at Watoga Civic Center the first one's gonna be on the roof and the other one's gonna be inside but I'm gonna show you the roof one first you're gonna go up these fire escapes and uh, this one's very easy as long as uh, the robots are giving you too much shit you know, like I said, we're in the same gang now. I joined their gang. They jumped me in. It's cool. But anyways, yeah, you find this one by this uh, vertebrate. The next one is going to be inside. And uh, if you go in this door, by the way, you're going to get your ass kicked by a bunch of scorched. Fair warning. But this was the most straightforward way of uh, showing you where the power armor is. So you're going to come all the way to the main uh, area. Um... I don't know what you would call this area. Basketball court. Anyways, yeah, you'll find the power armor in this corner. You know, taking a timeout or whatever. Standing very silently. Next and last, number 42 is that Firebase LT. This one's very easy to get to. There might be Scorch, you know, flying around. But uh, no worries. Those ground-to-air missile turrets are there to help you. But uh, yeah, guys, that's it for the 20 locations in this video. In the next video... I'm going to show you even more locations, not as many as in this video, because I'm actually going to be explaining how to get the Ultra Side Power Armor. And it's actually part of the Brotherhood of Steel quest. I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, it's much easier than getting the XO Power Armor. Um, the quest itself is kind of bullshitty, I'll show you why. But uh, yeah, this is the best armor in the game so far. It's got like a damage resistance of uh, 68. Uh, compared to level 50 exo armor which has a damage resistance of 60 but uh we're gonna be lighting off nukes in the future the other thing i want to show you i found an explosive 50 cal machine gun uh, which is going to be awesome i just got to test it out and record myself using it um, that's going to be in the very next video actually 
But anyways, guys, that's it. I hope you found it uh, informative. I hope you liked it. If you did, uh, please give it a thumbs up. That helps out. And uh, subscribe for future videos if you want to see how to get the Ultra Sight uh, Power Armor. If you haven't already seen it, people are posting videos on that like crazy all of a sudden. And then uh, also more weapons that I'm finding. Uh, I like the series that I've started. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, I will see you in the next video.